Hello, this is Ray Motor from ACG and welcome to another edition of the Hot Seat. Joining me today is Kelly Ayuja from Cisco. Kelly? Hey Ray, how you doing? Thanks for joining the Hot Thanks Seat. Thanks for having me. And I think this is the first one, right? I think it is. We've done, uh, I don't know if you remember, we've done some in the past in IPv6. I remember. Right? Yeah, a few of them, but this is the Hot Seat. In the Hot Seat, we like to get right to the point. No problem. So, so here we are in Barcelona, right? Recently, you guys had an announcement on the cloud scale networking and, and there was something related to routing and stuff like that. Could you tell us a little bit about that and the importance of that in Absolutely. So Ray, as we've been working with a lot of web scale providers and even service providers, we're hearing different things that they need, right? right. And so we've actually spent two years working with the, these web scale providers and said, how is, you, how, are you, how is it that you're building your network? Yeah. What is it that you need? And what they told us is, look, I move at a speed and scale like no other, right? right? So I need to be able to do things very differently. So first is, when I deploy stuff, it has to be fast and quick and yeah, I can't right. have lots of people doing it. Once it's deployed, I need to manage it and I need to do it very, very quickly and fast. I need to have ruthless automation ruthless and something like that. And the last part is once it's deployed, lifecycle management, I need to make sure I'm optimizing the network, making changes yeah. and everything else. And that's got to be optimized too. Right. right. right? Yeah. So we actually focused on those requirements and made tremendous improvements in our software capability right. to be able to allow that. Then we added that software capability to new platforms, mm -hmm. uh, the NCS 5500, mm -hmm. the 5000, and the NCS 1000. So cloud scale networking is routing and yeah. optical. Both oh, of those right. Yeah. combined, okay. right? Because NCS yeah. 1000 is optical. That's right. And that and actually we use our innovation in optical too right. to be able to drive multi hundred gigabits per second, right. terabits a second per capacity second. in right. very small form factor, uh -huh. introducing new platforms that uh, folks can use when they connect data centers together right. or at the data center edge or even in some of the WANs if they want right. to. Right. So it's more than just about pure capacity, there's a level of intelligent networking you bring into the multi-layer, right? It's about yeah. operational efficiency, efficiency, right? Which is key. And if you talk to any of the service providers right. that I talked to here this week, yeah. they all talk about their OPEX. Their OPEX. And how yeah. they need to move fast. Right. right. So this yeah. is about speed and operational efficiency. And so from a motivation point of view, right, I mean that's important. Where do you see this going for them in point of view? So they could be in a situation that they're not in a forklift approach three years from now. You know, this is really key because um, uh, the way that we've actually designed the systems and the yeah. software and the hardware, we can actually continue to change the building blocks underneath, right? right? Okay. But we can have the network story mm -hmm. across that software be constantly consistent. constantly consistent. So we can actually get in, build a network with segment routing and all these other wonderful things, simplify that. Right. Simplification is key on the software side. And then the hardware building blocks, you can make it with one, right. and you can replace that as you need more capacity, plug the other one, yeah, okay. and you won't have any change into it, right? Yeah. The second thing is, is that we're seeing that as um, the network evolves, mm -hmm. as we connect more things, yeah. as densification happens, mm -hmm. to meet the pro economics needs for yeah. the service providers, you're going to see more deployment of distributed stuff, mm -hmm. right? Okay. So for example, yeah. we talk about data centers today. Right. Yeah. In the future, we'll be talking about remote centers for data. Remote, center. okay. remote centers for data, where you can actually put in NFV, you can put in SDN stuff, everything there. Yeah. So they're going to be smaller data centers all the way through the network. Right. And now what we're going to need is a different kind of networking requirements, right? right? Okay. And that's where cloud scale where comes cloud scale in. Comes right? in that's where cloud scale yeah, so that's a good motivation. Now, we're here at MWC 2016. You've had some announcements. I heard Ultra and some other pieces. Do you mind giving us a little quick overview on some of those announcements sure. and why it's important? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, <laughs> so we've had uh, three focus areas this, yeah. this week at MWC. The first is uh, demonstrating customer traction okay. across the entire portfolio. Right. We've got customer wins that we announced all over the globe in many different areas. Right. The second is innovation. Right. We're demonstrating huge amount of innovation, right. uh, beating the competition behind, whether okay. it was cloud scale networking and other areas. Mm -hmm. And third is uh, some announcements on the partnership with Ericsson okay, and right. even yeah. Apple for that matter, displaying that too. Okay. So um, on the innovation side, um, ultra services platform, okay. absolutely cool. Mm -hmm. You know what one customer told me? What did he say? He said, uh, this is so good, by the way, they're showing it in their booth. All right, okay. I go up to them and I said, uh, can I see the demo? He didn't know who I was. <laughs> and he was selling it to me. Right, right. He was selling right. it to me. He said, "Wow, oh, that's this good. thing." Is did like, you gave it, you the sales pitch? Right? Uh, nice. He did. Yeah, yeah. And he was so excited. I wanted right. to hire him and bring him in <laughs> our booth. Nice. And sell it. He said, "We're 18 yeah. months ahead of the competition okay. nice. in anything that they're doing right. in the terms of packet core or mobile core. Right. So you've okay. taken the easy button. Uh -huh. You've uh, cloudified the right. uh, the uh, web, uh, the uh, uh, mobile packet core. Right. Combined it with policy and yep. GI land services." and really pulling it together for the operators to give them a cloudified, SDNized, right. uh, yeah. NFB-based right. open platform yeah. that they can use to deploy their services in minutes yeah, as opposed right. to months. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it's important because if we look at last year, right, we were talking about these PLCs and stuff, it seemed like 
with solutions like that, you know, these are starting to become real type deployment opportunities. They right? are. I mean, they actually are. In fact, yeah. uh, we've had multiple yeah. customers talk about Ultra this right. week. Yeah. Uh, we've had SK Telecom, they're showing it in their booth. Okay. Yeah. Deutsche Telecom showing it in their right. booth. And we've actually had Orange, who's also uh, spoken about what yeah. they're doing that's as beautiful. well. Yeah. There are a few more that I can And a few more, that's okay. We don't want you to get in <laughs> trouble with that, right? We don't want to look, be in stripes Absolutely. there. Now, we always like to close with is, uh, is this real or is this just some PowerPoint slides? I mean, <laughs> what are the targets for this and stuff? Because our our service provider customers and Wall Street want to get an idea. You know, everything we do, yeah. we only do it when it's real. Okay. Right? Cloud scale networking, we're in customers' right. uh, half right. of the top 10 web uh -huh. scale providers right. are trialing and testing. Mm, interesting. And not mm -hmm. just the hardware, but the software. Right, yeah. And they love it so much, they can't wait. Right. I'm going to be getting uh, uh, my competitors uh -huh. uh, a scare. Okay. And they're already scared <laughs> if you ask them because they know I'm coming after them. Okay, these accounts. good. Uh, yeah. Even the non web scale the providers, uh, we're making great progress and traction. Right. Because they're learning from the web players and they're saying, hey, what are they doing? I've got to do that too. Yeah. So we're already ahead. Right. But the stuff that we're doing with telemetry, the stuff we're doing with segment routing, yeah. I think it's going to cause my uh, friends at yeah. Juniper and yeah. ALU a really hard time. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, that's interesting because then you're expanding that TAM opportunity into that particular Absolutely. market, not just the traditional tier ones. No, 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 exactly. Yeah, so, and even yeah. the, the uh, mobile innovations that we've shown here, right. uh, you know, I walked around uh, some booths and yeah. uh, I tell you, I don't see people doing what we're doing. Yeah. Network slicing, yeah. being able to take that construct of SDNizing, yeah. mobile, mobile core, not just right. the mobile packet core, right. it's absolutely amazing. Yeah. And I think customers that came in this week, I, we talked to them in the meeting yeah. rooms uh -huh. and we took them downstairs. They actually loved it so much they came yeah. back for more. They brought their teams in to yeah. the innovations. Well, well, how many meetings you guys set up this yeah. week and stuff? Or, was it over a few thousand or thousands? Well, of? you know, it's yeah. about three and a half days of meetings for us, right? <laughs> speed uh, dating. But speed yeah, dating. Speed dating is speed right. Dating, right uh, yeah. But it's about 1,500 meeting requests that wow. we've had. Right. And we've actually set a new record of That's how many awesome. we're actually going to get yeah. that. Well, you're officially off the hot seat. Thank you, Eric. With Kelly, this is Ray Moda. Thanks for joining this edition of the Hot Seat.